everybody, and welcome. It is me, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. And happy Thursday, guys. And Thursday is always our class that we like to call Picture This. Picture this is when I give you an image, a photograph, a painting, a comic strip, any kind of visual art with no words on it. And your job is to create a song chorus based on whatever it is that the uh, subject matter is. Um, this has been a great exercise. Um, I've, you know, built a whole, a whole class around this because it's such an interesting way to create something from nothing. You know, a lot of times when you're writing songs with people, you're saying, okay, all right, what are we going to write about? Hmm. You know, and it becomes a staring contest for a while. You're just looking at the person going, yeah, we're going to, we're going to come up with some cool ideas here. And I guess in a little while. So this kind of breaks the ice because it's giving you a definitive look at something. Now you have a starting point. Instead of staring at a blank piece of loose leaf for two hours with somebody. And you know, a lot of times, um, you know, what this does for me anyway, I can't speak for anyone else, but um, when I get an image, I go into daydreams. I just, boom, I just, I go off. I see a whole bunch of stuff. And when I start to see stuff, then... Everything, you know, so I start firing on all cylinders and I start thinking about all kinds of stuff I could be saying based on whatever it is I'm looking at. There is a story in everything you look at. If you look at it, if you look at it in that way, um, everything around you can be an influence. Conversations. What you, what you start to learn as a songwriter is how you even pick things up subliminally when you're not even thinking about it. Um, I've written songs in the past on conversations I heard at another booth in a restaurant. It just starts me thinking. I just hear a couple little, I'm not, I'm not listening, but you can't help but overhear sometimes if someone's having a conversation, you know, uh, uh, another booth away from you. You just, you just hear what they're saying. And sometimes it'll set you off to just... I'll get ideas for topics, storylines, or subject matter for songs. Because I'm always thinking about songs. I'm always thinking about what am I going to write about now? What am I going to say that I didn't say before? Or like a different spin on something. So that's what this exercise basically does. But like, I always tell you guys this, and I mean this, because it really is the truth. Um, of course I want you to write what's pertaining to this picture. But that's not as important as, believe it or not, just to get you creative and writing something. It's a starting place. Now, of course, I really do want something to be about the picture, but if the picture reminds you of something completely different, um, if it's a picture of a woman and a dog, your grandmother, excuse me, your, your grandmother could have had a dog look like that. So this makes you think of your grandmother. So you're going to write a song about your grandmother. That's fine. You can do that. And I want you to do that. Whatever that makes you think about. The only stipulation or rule is it's got a rhyme. It's a song. It's got a rhyme. It's got to tell a story and it's got to be an understood story. It can't be like an inside joke. I say this all the time. I want people, if it got translated to Italian, I want people in Italy to understand what the song's about from the translation. It can't be something that no one else knows but you and some other person you grew up in high school with that you only get what you're saying. It's like an inside joke or whatever. I don't need that. Or we don't need that. We, you know, make it universal. You want people to understand the message without beating them over the head with it either. It's, you know, um, subtle and yet subliminal. You know what I mean? It should be open. You know, like when, when, when people tell you what a song's really about, like when you hear a writer say, this song is really about this, sometimes it changes your perspective on what you thought the song was about because now you're hearing the writer tell you exactly what they thought the song was for them. 
So it changes your outlook on the song sometimes when people tell you what they're doing. So without further ado, um, let's get into it. Like, um, you know, uh, as, as opposed to um, why do we do this? Well, like I said before, it just helps you to focus. It's a starting point. Um, it gets your mind going. It gets your, you know, it gets your brain waves moving. Um, it starts the machine turning. So when you do this, whenever, whatever picture is up there, here's what I want you to do. And I tell you this every week, but I'm going to continue because it's, this is the real way you got to do it. I want you to stare at the photograph, stare at it, stare at it until it kind of goes away from your vision and you're in a daydream up here. Okay. Now, whatever you see in that daydream is what I want you, when you pull out of that daydream, I want you to take your pen and paper. I want you to write down everything you saw almost in detail, like a list, like a grocery list. I want you to write everything down that you saw in the picture, everything in the foreground, everything in the background, anything that's in the distance, write it all down. If the woman's wearing a red dress, write down red dress, black shoes, brown hair, smiling, whatever it is, write all that down so you have it. Don't worry about it rhyming yet. Get the points because something in there might actually be the song's lead focus, you know, the focal point of the song, which means like, you know, the fo what is the, the focus of the, the story? So that's what I want you to do. I want you to go into the song. I want you to dissolve until you go into a daydream. When you pull back, start writing everything down. Okay. Now I'm going to be quiet now because I'm going to show you the photograph that I picked for this week. Now, um, when, you know, when you watch this back, you can pause this and you can take as long or, you know, because I only, I only focus on the picture for a couple of minutes, but you can pause this whenever you want, hold it, stare at it for an hour if you want to, you know. So anyway, without further ado, here is the photograph. Enjoy it. Okay, so you saw the picture. It's a lioness and a lion, and they're both wearing crowns. Okay, now you know the old saying, um, "Lions, king of the far, king of the jungle, king of the jungle," right? So the lioness must be the queen, right? So what I did was I started looking at this, and I went into my imagination. And I started imagining that it was about someone that you trust. Now, like this lion, of course, looks like in this picture anyway, he trusts his wife or his, his queen. So I'm going to, I'm going to, um, tell you what I wrote for this. And, um, so I'm looking at it and in my mind, um, you know, I saw through thick and thin. This is what my mindset was. Through thick and thin, you've always been there. You've always been there when we're up and when we're down. When we're, when things are good and when things are not good, you're always there. When we're outnumbered, you got my back. I got your back. That's kind of what I saw based on that picture. So, but then I put it into like almost a relationship kind of a term because this is a relationship, whether it's, I mean, of course it's not real, you know, lions and lionesses don't walk around with crowns on their head. So it's, it's sort of a statement. And this is what I wrote for it. When my world is coming down and I'm falling apart, you're the only one that's real and kept it straight from the heart. There will never be another, always give all you got. 
So we're going to rule the world, baby, ready or not. And that's, I'll read it one more time. When my world is coming down and I'm falling apart, you're the only one that's real and kept it straight from the heart. There will never be another always give all you got. So we're going to rule the world, baby, ready or not. And that is what I wrote for that. And I have a chorus. I have a melody. We'll get into that on another day. But for now, that's the lyrics that I wrote. Guys, I can't wait to see what you write for this picture. I, You know, um, you guys have been sending me stuff today even from, from last week that were, it's just incredible, incredible lyrics. And, and today, you guys sent me lyrics today from tonight's lesson uh, or last week's lesson, actually. So anyway, guys, that is all the time that we have for tonight. This is your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. Take care of yourself and uh, be safe. I love you guys. Be good. And I will see you next week. All right, guys. Peace.